Lieutenant, this is General Garza. I see that you've touched down on Nar Shaddaa. Before we begin your briefing, I want to make something clear. The situation on Nar Shaddaa is very delicate. This moon belongs to the Hutt Cartel, who take their neutrality very seriously. The Republic cannot afford any incidents. What exactly should I be avoiding here, sir? Imperial personnel operate just as freely on Nar Shaddaa as we do. You cannot be caught taking action against them. Now, your mission. An experimental Republic war droid has gone rogue, committing a series of seemingly random attacks across Nar Shaddaa. The droid's designation is M14X, and it is my belief that this droid is acting under orders from Harren Tavis. What makes you say that? The droid is a highly advanced prototype, one that was being developed to serve in Havoc Squad. The project was supposed to have been cancelled, but it would seem Tava simply shifted the development elsewhere, most likely his allies in the Sith Empire. Why wasn't the project completed in the first place? The droid's design relied on an exotic alien power source, but our technicians couldn't make it work efficiently. This war droid's rampage must be stopped before it's linked with the Republic. An agent of the Strategic Information Service will be assisting you. Officially, you're providing military support to an SIS operation. Do not divulge Tavis's defection, or the droid's connection to it. Intelligence service should know everything we know. We deal with our own problems, Lieutenant. The last thing we need is for the SIS to get involved. Be careful, Lieutenant. If this war droid is even half as dangerous as its original designers had estimated, you'll have your work cut out for you. Garza out. Ah, there you are. Go ahead, take a seat, and keep your voice down. Are people listening in on us? I would be. Hope you like the cantina. It's not one of my favorites, but it is conveniently located. There's a vault not far from here. It's a merc operation. Holds valuables for anybody with the credits to pay. Our mutual friend is about to pay them a visit. We have a welcome party arranged? Not exactly, no. A group of paramilitary types always shows up on the scene before the droids attacks. We've already spotted them casing the vault. You could head in now, but I don't want to scare them off. We wouldn't want the guest of honor to skip the party, would we? It's your show, Jonas. When do we make our move? I have people with eyes on the vault. Once they spot our target, we'll get the party started. So, Havoc Squad, huh? Pretty nice of Garza to loan us her very best. I'm, uh, excuse me. Jonas, I just wanted to let you know, I made it to Ithor safe and sound. That's great. I'll talk to you later then. That's our cue. The target is in the vault. Are you ready to move out? Let's get this party started. Take care of the droid, and we'll have you on your way within the hour. Nice and tidy. Good luck. We'll have our eyes on you. We're wasting time. There's an entire galaxy full of depraved lunatics plotting against our great republic, and we're busy rummaging for valuables. Be patient, Forex. Black Ops are cheap. Commander Tavis needs us to be resourceful. But I've been operational for days now. Imperial vermin across the galaxy should be cursing the republic ingenuity that created me. Nobody move a muscle. Keep your hands where I can see them. Contact. Arm subject. Engage and terminate. Negative. Subjects confirmed as Republic Army personnel. Fellow heroes in our war on evil and oppression. Great. Look, this is a top secret mission. Commander Tavis sent us himself. Does Havoc Squad Commander Tavis mean anything to you? This isn't a Republic operation. You're a traitor. Just like Tavis. Tavis isn't the traitor. He was betrayed. And there are some of us who aren't standing for it. Forex, secure the package and follow me. The rest of you, gun this scum down and rendezvous with us at Objective 7. Negative. What you suggest is an act of betrayal. The murder of fellow... M14X, override code 558. Secure the objective and follow me now. Sir, yes, sir. I'm your commanding officer. Ignore this man's orders. Negative. Override code condition 558. Obey only orders given by Commander Heron Tavis, or personnel designated by same. Let's go! Move! Move! Open fire!
That was interesting, wasn't it? Any idea where the droid went? We've got a pretty solid lead. Our tap on the vault cams wasn't perfect, but the droid's crew looked like they were packing Republic heat, all standard issue. We didn't have audio, though. Any luck finding out who we're dealing with? They were Republic Special Forces soldiers who have defected to the Empire alongside Heron Tavis. Defections in Spec Force? That's news. Big news. Any particular reason SIS isn't in the loop on this? General Garza made it clear that she didn't want SIS involved. Ah. Uh, so, you're taking a pretty big risk giving me the whole story on this. Thanks. But, we'll talk later. Our new traitor friends have holed up in an abandoned arms factory in the red light sector. I have a team setting up shop in a warehouse not far from the arms factory. Meet up with us there. I'll move out ASAP. Keep your eyes open. The red light sector isn't exactly the safest place in the galaxy. See you soon. <laughs>